Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on one sample t-test. Today we will look at the details of the one sample t-test and how it is done on Minitab. One sample t-test is used to estimate the mean of a population. It compares the mean to a target or reference value and also calculates a range of values that is likely to include the population mean. Standard deviation of the population is not known. We use this test when x or the independent variable is discrete and y or the dependent variable is continuous. Assumptions for this test are that data are independent with no significant outliers and y is approximately normally distributed. Why we are using approximately normal data? Because it is quite robust to violations of normality. It can still provide valid results in practice. Null hypothesis for a one sample t-test is mu equals mu zero and alternative hypothesis could be either not equal to, greater than or less than, depending on whether it is a two-tailed or one-tailed test. Mu here is the population mean and mu zero is the hypothesized mean. Test statistic for a one sample t-test is denoted by t sub zero and it is calculated as x bar minus mu zero divided by s divided by root over n where s is equal to root over xi minus x bar whole square divided by n minus one. Rejection criteria for a one sample t-test is basis the comparison between the test statistic that is t sub zero and a critical value that is calculated from the t distribution table using the significance level alpha and the degrees of freedom which is n minus one. Broadly, the steps to conduct a one sample t-test are as follows. We are familiar with these steps from our previous videos on hypothesis testing and one-way ANOVA. So at this point, let me refer back to the point where we said that this test is quite robust to the violations of normality. This is acceptable provided the underlying distribution is symmetric, unimodal and continuous. If the values are highly skewed, we have to opt for a non-parametric test. Great, let me quickly bring up a very common scenario from our daily lives. I'm sure you would have ordered pizza innumerable times from your nearest pizza outlet. Now onwards, remember you can use a one sample t test to determine whether the main delivery time is significantly lower than the advertised time of 30 minutes. Exciting, right? See, it's there with us all the all 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 the, all the time. Now let's quickly see how do we conduct a one sample t-test on Minitab. We click on Stat Basic Statistics One Sample T. Then we enter the dependent variable in samples in column box by clicking the variable name on the left pane and input the hypothesized mean. Minitab normally does the test at 95% level of confidence. If you wish to change this percentage, you can click on options and change it there. Another option to see here is the summarized data. If you do not have the detailed data points and only have the summarized data values, you can still conduct a one sample t-test by putting them here instead of using the samples in column box. Now here is the sample Minitab output. The descriptive statistics. We are primarily concerned with the p-value here. If p-value is less than the significance level, that is alpha, we reject the null hypothesis. This means that there is a statistically significant difference between the mean and the reference value. With this, we conclude our discussion on one sample t-test today. Thank you very much for your time and please do get in touch with me for any queries or feedback. You can also subscribe to the channel to stay updated on future videos. We will meet soon with another interesting video. Till then, enjoy learning. Cheers.